Hello everybody, this is William Frisbee, and I am outside of a toad house because I just used it in the between episodes. And I am back with more Paper Mario. In this episode, we're going to go to the Cooper Bros Fortress at last, and if I remember correctly, it is this one! Yes, that is the combination that we're supposed to get to get the Attack FX B badge. All it really does is just make it to where your hammer or attacks do certain sounds, but I really don't use them because either A, they're really annoying, or B, they're really annoying, or C, they just are very stupid. Let's see, if I remember correctly, there's something we can use Koopa over here for. If I can just dodge that guy, normally I would fight him, but I really don't feel like it right now. And there is a star piece over here for us to get. Yay, one more to add to the collection that we can use to get a badge later. Dodge him? Yes, we can. Alright, continuing on to the Cooper Bros. Fortress. And over here, you'll be seeing why we need this guy so early. Oh, look at that. It's a. Whoa, trap! Yeah, my leg is getting really tired. Must cut. Alright, and we're back. And this was actually, yes, it was a trap, and I. Ugh, excuse me, I fell for it for a reason. And now we're going to get this little thing right here, the Thunderbolt, which attacks one enemy for five damage. I recommend keeping these for any reason if you need it, and I did first strike with Cooper, and that's going to be... not it, it's to kill. And we're back. Let's see, this is the reason why we need a Cooper over here, so we can hit that switch, because otherwise we wouldn't, and I really like this sound. Okay, I just went blank there for a second. Don't know why. Must be this little headache I have. I don't know. But I'll be. Oh yeah, here are the Paracoopa Troopas. Uh, they're like their Koopa Troop brothers, except unlike their brothers, you need to hit them twice in order to get them to be paralyzed, or else they're just gonna fall down and be on their feet. So. It'll be recommended to take them out as soon as you can, and I'm feeling horribly at action commands today, don't know why, it must be the like, game. Because in the second game, I am very good at action commands, so much so that I've actually, um, actually I don't really know if there is much of a, oh yeah, that's right, you can't hit anything oh, that's on the air with Koopa, or Cooper, until you get them on the ground, and please let's work. Yes! Alright, now that they're... Yeah, you hit them twice when they're in the air and they'll go under the shell and you can, uh, have zero defense. And let's get you... And you're dead. Almost there. Almost there to a level up. <coughs> Sorry about that, I had a bit of phlegm in my throat. Alright, Fire Flower, um... Get rid of the sleepy sheep, because I really don't need sleepy sheep. Might as well use that fire flower soon, because really don't need. Won't be using it for a while. Oh, star, star piece. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna take care of this guy, and I'll be back in a sec. There, uh, there we are. We're almost there. Six more star points, and we can get another level up and get more HP. Or if you're, ooh, that's bad. Yeah, if the enemy hits you first, then. Well, as you just saw there, yeah, it's not good. So, recommend not getting yeah, power shell. All right, and now we have a level up. We got 12 star points out of that, so now we can upgrade our HP again. Woohoo! Let's see. Yeah, we're at 25 right now. I think the maximum you can get in this game without an HP plus badge is 50. So we're almost halfway there. So you've got a heart point or heart block here, but we have no need for it. So that was just pretty much a waste right there. And ooh, fortressy safe block. Gonna need that. Let's see, I don't know if there's anything over here, but I'm gonna check. No, there is not. So let's go towards the door and black troop, black Koopa, get him! Whoa, Mario, what the? We're in the world of Parrot, that's Mario's here already. I gotta tell the leader. Red Koopa! <sighs> well, that took a lot of breath. A lot more than I would have thought. 
Well, anyway, let's continue on to the Cooper Bros. Fortress and kind of like the atmosphere of this one right here. And let's kill you. Thankfully, that did not become a first strike. Oh, we have a new enemy here. <laughs> excuse me. No, their names were not Belch, or excuse me, their names are the Bot Ops. Or Bot Ops. Bot Ops. I really don't know. I like saying Bot Ops. <laughs> oh, I'm tired today. Okay, the only thing you really need to know about these guys is that if you hit them, I think if you hit them once, they'll light their fuse, and you do not want that because they'll um, attack. See right there, they'll attack you, or they'll explode next to you if you do that. However, if you attack them again with uh, with a character like that, they'll blow up, and then they'll be an instant kill. So. There you go, and you get a key out of this fight. Sweet. They're like the little keys from Legend of Zelda, except that they come in different shapes, shapes and sizes instead of being the generic little key that you see in those games. And here we have two of them. The hammer will also take care of them, I guess. I should have said that as well. Oh. Well, I guess we're going to see what happens when they blow up next year. Yeah, they do oh, two whole damage, and it's really hard to guard against those. I would have tried, but I forgot. <laughs> see, so... Yeah, it's great. Alright, and we're back. Um, you know, I've been wondering, what have you been playing lately? Like, any, have you been playing any old games like I have? Because, uh... Ha, let's see Great Mario get any farther now. Mario, you, uh, don't try any, you'll still never find our way through the fortress. Why do I sound Alaskan now? Um, it looks like there might be some fighting here. How exciting. See ya. Whee. Kill you. So yeah, as I was saying a second ago, um, have you guys been playing any old games lately? Like, finding, or either playing, finding, or just rediscovering? Just playing any old games in general like I have, because for the past week or so I've been playing uh, some old PS1 games. And I have to say that I've been finding some pretty good ones, like uh, I got Chrono Cross, Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. All those games have been pretty good and I shouldn't have done that. Ah, <laughs> um, Yeah, I've been playing all those games and I've... I have to say, so far I'm finding Final Fantasy VIII to be funner than I would have thought, mostly because I, as most people have seen or heard, Spoonie has done a long review saying how crappy the game is, but in my honest opinion, it is a decent game. It's not very good, it has its very bad points like drawing. I admit that drawing is not fun, however, if you're like me and you're a masochist for some things like that, then it could be okay. Just saying. And I probably should skip Cooper's turn, so this doesn't so bad things don't happen. And yeah, da, da. there we go. Now hammer, 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 hammer! Oh crap. Actually, it doesn't really matter, because... Yeah, just do that little combination right there, and it doesn't matter how much damage you do, they'll just die anyway, so... Just... Boom. And boom. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't take too long to do that. There. And we're nearly. Or actually, we're over one quarter of the way there to another level up already. And kill you. <coughs> and we're back. Again with phlegm. My throat. Jeez, what is with my throat today? It's been all phlegmy and stuff. And I'm sorry that disgusts some of you people because, well, it's a normal part of the body, so you shouldn't complain. Seriously, I'm in a health field right now, and I can tell you that phlegm is completely natural and you should not fear it. In fact, you should embrace it. Because if it wasn't for phlegm, dust would be going into your lungs and you would have dust bunnies in there. You wouldn't want that now, would you? No, I did not think so. 
So don't complain about Flim, because Flim is your friend. Thank you, and have a nice day. And we're back with 8 star points. Now we're 40 up there. Bleh. Four tenths of the way there, folks, to another level up. Hooray, I love this game. And... Holy crap, Earthquake! Not again! Oh, I see. It's a staircase going down. I wonder what's down there. Well, actually, I don't even remember. It's gonna be a key and something else, that's all I remember. So, let's go down the stairs. Uh, I'm not gonna go that way just yet, because I really don't think there's anything of much use. Let's go up here and... Uh-oh! The doors are sentient! They're taking over the world! They're going to leave us in pits forever! And I got struck first again. Uh, I think this would be a good place to use any and all power, power blocks you have. But right now I'm not going to use it because right now I'm only finding two of these guys and I can easily take care of them. So I'll be back in a sec. Alright, come here and get me, you s son of a Koopa! And yes, I guarded and uh, I can't use a power block here. Um, something I thought I might mention, something that will help you with uh, your action commands when fighting using your jumps, is that there is a A button there telling you when to press it. And something I've noticed that this one is really, really uh, correct. I don't know the best word to put it, but basically it is really good at... Uh, Telling you when to press it, unlike most games where it'll be a bit off or it'll just be something else, but in this game it's actually quite spot on. So use that, I guess, if you're having trouble using your jump attacks like I am for some reason. I seriously don't know why I'm having such trouble using action commands today. Must be because it's getting hot in here. I don't know why. And four star points off of that. Great. Oh, another power block. I can use that. Uh, bye bye, sleepy sheep. Really, don't need you. And get this guy. And I'm probably going to use. Yep, I'm going to use my power block here because I'm lazy. And I like to keep more room in my pants pockets. Let's see, I don't think you can get much more room in your. Uh, inventory in this game, but in the second one you get this item that will allow you to uh, store more items. However, in this game you don't get that, I don't think, so... Yeah. Bad luck there, I guess. And... The doors are becoming nice again. They are deciding to let us leave. Seriously, I really don't know how they did that. Not the designers, the Koopas. Because you don't really think they would... Koopas would know how to do that, I don't know. No. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm going and saying my jumping over this flaming rod, is because if you jump over enough times, it explodes into coin! Beautiful golden coins! And even though some people really don't do this often, like uh, Chuggy Conroy, I've seen him that he just tries to skip this. However, I recommend doing this because you never know when you're going to need some money in this game. Seriously, you never really do. So, might as well. And we got a fortress key, so now we can go back to the lock upstairs and get rid of that one. But first I'm going to check that door that was just right across from here, just so I can check it, because I really don't remember what was behind there. If there's nothing, I'm just going to leave. Or just cut it, I guess, so... let's see. No, there is nothing back there. It was something that we're going to be going to later, but as of right now, we can't do anything about it, so unless you're wanting some spoilers about what's going to happen, go ahead and check it out, but if you're not, just leave it alone. And... Wow, ninja working powers, apparently. Well, he does have the get-up, so I guess he is a ninja. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Whoa, looks like Mario's here! Better leave! Okay, now... Even though that was very obvious trap, let's go over here and check this door, because there is a safe lock here. And you know what? I'm going to save here and cut off for today. I am Millennium Frisbee, and I am going to be back with more Paper Mario. So I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!